All right, next one here. Again, you hit this is really unlucky. But here, you see that tu this touch here that you just take, it takes you closer to the keeper. So by the time you shoot, the distance you are to him is a couple of meters. And I'm t I promise you, it's the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to show you some professionals doing it to just go around them when they're that, that distance. And the keepers can't do anything. As long as you take the touch out this way or that way, um, depending where the most space is, and it's outside the boundary, you'll always have an open goal. But this is not a bad effort. You're really unlucky here. So we're just going to watch a couple of players here. And uh, I want you to see how close they get to the keeper and see whether they're the same distances. So watch here. Is he the same distance between where you was and the keeper was? Yes. It's a universal law that all top strikers know that you have to go around the keeper um, when they're that when they're this close. And again here, the touch takes him that close. Look, a couple of meters, they just go around him. So this is the chance where you had to go around the keeper and it's first of all it's a great run and great timing of the run. Now the conversation I had with you, you I feel like you knew that you went around the keeper the wrong way. Now what I want to explain is when you go around the keeper, you want to go around him in the way where it doesn't sacrifice momentum. So this is the right decision. You're too close by the time you touch the ball, it's hard to would have been hard because he's in front of it to score if you shot. The decision to go around him is correct. Now the the way you went around him was wrong, or not wrong but ineffective, because now you see you have to, you have to skip past the keeper. You lose momentum, and you're now not going to get to the ball first. It's also best to go away, go to the side. That the defender is not on. So if you went this side. Even now if you went now. He can challenge you. So if you go to the side that he's not on. Um, he can't challenge you. Because you're just running further away from him. So here if you, that touch went. Into this space. Just there. You would have a left foot finish open goal there. Um, but I'm really happy that you consciously made the effort to go around him. It's just the way you went around him um, is the reason why he didn't score. But now, next week, when you do go around him, go around him and follow those rules. Go around the side that you don't sacrifice momentum. Go around the side that the um, defender isn't on. And I promise you, you'll have an open goal. Hey, so this is your goal in the game. Um, great run, first of all. Well done for having your body in the way of the centre back. Um, he makes a challenge, so you get a bit of luck there. But the ball runs for you, and as I said, any time you are within close proximity of the keeper and it's rolling towards him, I don't want you to shoot. I just want you to try go around him. Um, as I said in previous weeks, and you do do that, and then you get your reward. Um, so well done. Um, it's a great finish.